Hi, I'm Linda, and I want to talk today about the energies of August. So I'm going to do an energy reading. I have a bunch of decks laid out in front of me, and I'm just going to be shuffling up and pulling cards, and we're going to see uh, what, what could be in store for us for the month of August. All right, so before we get started, I just want to... Um, let you know that I have some free meditations down below that you can download and also um, my seven tips for living in a high vibration because really that's what it's all about. The higher we can re stay in this vibration, a higher vibration, the easier everything just falls into line. Um, and so because we're going to be having all these ups and downs, you know, it, that's just the way it's been lately, put it that way. We're, we're doing a lot of purging of old patterns programs and all the planet's energy is raising and so is ours so it, it kind of you know it kind of can can feel pretty rough at times so that's why I have these seven tips because they'll help you lift yourself up because you don't want to be stuck in those lower energies it really doesn't it really doesn't help you you know if you want to sit and just let them process that's one thing but if you want to go down deeper and deeper by getting caught up in the negative thought patterns that want to come in well that's not really serving you so the seven tips will help you with that. So anyway, let's go to the first deck. Now this is the vibrational energy deck. Um, let's see if you can see that. There you go. And uh, we're going to pick a card from here to start this reading off and see what comes up. What are we being told? Two faces of mankind. Well, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever read that card before, so I better take a look here. Um, two Faces of Mankind, and let's go to that. I'm going to read it. It's very short and sweet in this book. So it says, where there's a feminine, there's a masculine. A negative need, needs a positive and vice versa. You cannot create a harmonic vibration without first acknowledging and accepting the balance of yin and yang in your life. It's the law of vibration and energy, which is ever evolving. So I'd say that goes <laughs> speaks directly to what I was just saying. Like we're kind of going through these highs and lows, negatives and positives. And I know I've been going through it a lot because I had some things going on. And uh, you know, experience could all of a sudden put you in this really low place. Um, and then you come out of it and you're, high, you're in a good place. So it's like I'm in the negative, I'm in the positive. I could be like so positive and have this really negative day. I'm like, where did this come from? I was doing great yesterday. So I'm going to take this card as being that, the positive and the negative, the highs and the lows. Um, so you want to get really good at navigating that. Um, I think that my seven tips are perfect to help you with that, to bring you out of it. Um, but it also, it's a good thing because those lows are allowing you to let go of things, to be able to look at something, especially if it's something that keeps repeating. I know for me, this situation I have, it's repeated now like three times. And I keep thinking, but I cleared the energy on that, but then it shows up again. So it has me take a deeper look. You know, that's the thing with energy healing. As you start uncovering and releasing stuff, more comes to the surface for you to be able to look at and release. So, okay, so that's good. So we know that's going on. We've all been experienced that kind of thing. I, I, I mean, all. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care how good you think everything is going in your life. You're going to have those days where you're pulled down and it just throws you off. And you're like, but what is this all about? Well, it's about something. So you want to look into it, right? Um, okay, so, <laughs> and, you know, there is all these new beginnings starting. I know for me, I had a couple of really bad days. And then all of a sudden, the energy broke and all these good things started coming into place. And I'm like, wow. In fact, um, I don't know if you know Victor Odo, but he has a great channel. Look it up, Victor Odo. And he was just doing um, a video speaking to how, <laughs> and I've done a video like this before too, how, um, you know, it's like, how do you know that things are shifting and changing or you're about to manifest what you've been working towards? Because it gets so hard that you want to give up. I mean, that's where I was a few days ago. I'm like, I just can't take this anymore. <laughs> Spirit, what the hell's going on here? Um, and, and I thought, all right, I'm just going to be with it. You know, I'm going to be with it. I did things bring myself up out of it so I didn't get stuck in it. And once you know, the energy broke. 
and all this good stuff is coming into play and it's like oh, thank you i'm so grateful spirit <sighs> feels good now to have to move past that dark night of the soul type of energy right so okay let's see what the energy oracle wants to say if it's going to talk about more of the same of this or if it's going to show us where we're going um oh happy family it's a nice card in the upright position so let's see what that wants to tell us i'm going to go to the book you know i always like to read from the book no matter what i mean i've read this card a million times but instead of just giving my interpretation because i'll always have one right i want you to take these words for how they mean how they're meant for you now you know i'm talking to a lot of people on a youtube channel right so the way i take it may not a may not apply to everybody, but when you hear what was intended by the card itself, you can see if what I'm saying feels in sync with you or if you have a different spin on what this card is telling you. So I'm always gonna read from the deck. Uh, I've made that decision. Okay, so happy family, closeness, fun, and caring. So it says the, the rainbow over this happy family pretends a time of joy and celebration, yay! <laughs> Close connections are available, so don't overlook the fun and frivolity that a friend or a family experience can bring. The value that you find in a truly loving relative or friend brings a higher vibration to your life force. You may be distracted or busy, but remember to put this part of your life in the forefront of your priorities. Yeah, I can, I can kind of interpret a little deeper in that is because sometimes we get so caught up in whatever this was that we're working on manifesting or whatever's going on at our work or whatever where we start getting so consumed by that that we're really not being in the present moment celebrating having fun with family and friends we might even be in say a family party but we're not really there we're not in present time being enjoying the people that you love in our head we're still back at the office or we're still working on that new project that we put into play or we're still thinking about this relationship that feels like it's falling apart whatever it is so i, I think there's that that's happening for a lot of people i know for sure so maybe that's what this is what wants to tell us but anyway it's telling you more it says if you're single finding this card in your spread could indicate a potential meeting and perhaps a relationship with someone who has children from a previous marriage, this ready-made family might bring some challenges, but it could be in your destiny in this lifetime. So this card may also simply signify a celebration coming up, such as a wedding, an anniversary, a birthday party, and it just says to enjoy it. So yeah, I could totally see that too. Um, and I'm gonna take it with all that's happening with these highs and lows. Um, you know, the, the negative and the positive, I'm going to look at it more as a message to just be in the present moment. Be grateful for all that you have, for the people that you love. Be with them. Be 100% with them, like in present time, not like half with them and half not with them because you're still working on the next thing that's in, going on in your head, right? Or even the old stories that don't support you that seem to be showing up again, right? We can get stuck in those patterns, which makes them stay there because, you know, the energy you put out is the energy you get back. That's why I'm going to say it again. You always want to try and shift that vibration to a higher vibe so that you can shift your thinking to a more positive look instead of getting stuck in that, stuck in that negative. Because that subconscious mind, it will build this story that gets deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper in the wrong direction. Um, so be in the present moment. Celebrate with your family. Look at the joyful things in life. I mean, I say not even just the celebration with family. Like, look at all the good in your life. Some people may not have a lot of family, right? So friends, right? And or even just your pets, animals, just really celebrate each moment because you know what? We're lucky to be alive in this moment, at this time, on this planet, when so many major changes are going on that are going to be really, really cool, cool coming up in the future. Um, okay, I'm going to move to the Divine Energy Oracle. It's a Sonia Choquette deck. And let's see what this one wants to tell us about what was going on with what we've already said. <laughs> and this one, we are going to pull... 
take the lead. All right. So with her cards, I, I don't even bother really some, I, mean, I guess I, I did promise I'm going to read from the book all the time, right? But I'm going to say that this is really, um, be an example, right? Shine your light, take the lead, you know, um, follow the inspiration that comes through. Take inspired action to really, maybe it goes back to the living in the present moment to really enjoy this moment. And what can, what can, what can I bring into my life in this moment by being so present and so grateful for everything else? Like have that be like, what magic wants to come to me next? Because I think that's how I have to look at things uh, recently is that the more I let go and I'm like, okay, I can't get my, you know, I can't get caught up in this thing that's going on. Spirit's got to lead the way. Spirit's got to lead the way through me so that I can be, I can trust and be open to the inspiration that wants to come and then follow through with inspired action. Well, anyway, that's how I'm taking the card, but I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it because I, I, I decided that I'm always going to read it. Okay. Number 55. I find this in the book. This one's not an easy one to find the cards. Page 116. Mm. I don't know why, but Sonia Choquette left the numbers off of this deck. Here we go. Take the lead. I had to put my own numbers in. So it says you're in, you're intuitively beginning to find your way. Notice what part of your life leaves you so confident that you no longer feel you need to ask for outside approval. What qualities inspire others? What qualities inspire others to compliment you for your bright energy? So your, your divine energy is calling you to trust your creativity and elevate your confidence. Let the natural beauty, grace, talent, and wisdom take over. Don't wait for others to take the lead. Allow your optimism to carry you past the dreary scene of the moment, keeping you on track with your soul's path and pulling others out of the shadows back into the center as well. So your divine invitation is to allow your love of life to prevail over currently negative cynicism. Totally, like really being grateful and in the moment, open to the inspiration. Everything I was just saying, I feel, is what this card is saying. So be the beacon that eliminates darkness and ignites your sleepy imaginations of those around you. Not to show off or to be the center of attention, but as the leader who keeps others from losing heart and spirit. Oh, that's a big message right there. Shine on and spread your right wings. Don't wait to be invited. Let your light speak for itself. Yeah. So really, that's all about being in the heart, shining your light, coming from that high vibration of, of gratitude, really, peace, love, joy, allowing inspiration, taking that lead, shining that light, right? Just being that beacon of light that always assists others. It always assists others. I mean, energy is like that, right? You you go somewhere and the people are maybe had an argument right before you get in. You walk into the place and you're like, oh, my God, something, what happened here? And before you know it, it's very easy to be sucked down into that same energy because it'll draw you in, right? So rather, be that shining light. Be that positive person. Take that lead. You, one person, you could change the energy in that room just by staying in your center and being the light that you are. That's how you help other people. They won't even know what's happening. All of a sudden, they'll all start feeling better. I, I've seen this. I've witnessed this so many times. I do this all the time, purposely. Bring that energy to, to something that maybe when I went there didn't feel so good and think, okay, well, we got to just fill this room with love. You know, So just start channeling that energy of love and sending it to everyone around. And you'll see it, it's just magic. Things just shift. All right, so let's go to the next book. We're looking at, I guess I'm doing all four. <laughs> Colette Baron Reed, uh, The Enchanted Map. Uh, okay, so we're going to see. Well, I think all of those cards are really going along well with each other. So let's see what we get from The Enchanted Map. Colette Baron Reed. 40. <sighs> Follow the leader. Follow the leader. Okay. The other ones take the lead. This one's follow the leader. Okay, so let's see what that's all about. Uh, number 40. Here we go. 
All right, follow the leader. So this one, it says, every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. Okay, it was in the upright position. So it says, you're being, oh, here we go. You're being called to lead others by example. Your wisdom has, your wisdom has been earned as a result of your bravery in the adventure of your life. The experience of battles won and lost, places discovered, tears shed, and joy reveals, uh, joy revealed have placed you in a unique position to be of service to others. Your suffering has been crystallized into a talisman of wisdom. Now you must share it. By beginning, by being fully authentic, you'll lead others into the light. You'll be required to divulge something about your past so that you may help someone else. Lead with love. There is another message here as well. Look to those whose great character and accomplishments you admire and emulate the leaders that you respect. You will in turn have even more to offer, right? So that's really cool because it is all about sharing through this high vibration of love, being that light, being that, taking that lead so that others can join in with your energy, right? And of course, be the one who can feel that energy from others who have supported you and helped you and taken you further because light attracts more light, attracts more light. The more of us who can be that beacon of light, hold that energy, lead from that energy, well then you, you have no idea how much that goes out and helps the world because you know we are all connected. We are all one. So the more we can stay, this is why my, my website is lovemylife.coach because it's all about this energy of love. Healing, love, love is the energy that heals. And so love is the energy that will pick other people up too that are going through their own dark night of the soul or whatever it is, whatever challenge their soul came here to experience in order to have that expansion and growth. Well, by you being that light for those people, you help them to move through that lesson, to learn what they came to learn from it and to move on to help others to do the same. It's what it's all about. So, all right, let's pull one final card and we're going to angel answers. Okay, so I'm not even... I'm not really, I'm not even asking a question. Okay, I'll ask a question. So let's see, um, how does, you know, what can you tell us about this whole reading? This is what we're asking spirit, right? Let's see what we get, how it ties into all that came in already. And let's go, let's split the deck. Hmm. No, 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 no. That's totally thrown me. I have no idea. Okay, so let's see what the book says about no. Uh, uh, um. oh, and, and, oh. oh, does it have an exclamation point? No, just a plain no. The answer to your question is no. You may gather additional information by asking another question surrounding the issue and drawing another card. Okay, so maybe I didn't ask a clear enough question. Um, all right, so let's ask it this way. Let's ask... Um, what this energy of August brings to us. What does the energy of August bring to us? Yeah, that's what I'm going to ask. All right, now let's see what it says. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now it says, wait. Oh, this is getting weird. Okay. I always trust the cards. Because I've seen so many times where people are like, I'm doing readings for them. They're like, no, that does not apply to me. But then, like, the next week, they're like, oh, my God, that card was totally spot on because this is what happened. This is what happened. So now we're getting wait after a no. So I'm, I'm not getting it yet what this means. Anyway, it says your situation is going to require a little patience. Your angels are saying no, but they're not saying no. They're saying not yet. Sometimes heaven needs a little extra time to make all the pieces fall, fall perfectly into place. What you're asking for may have an effect on the lives of others. When that occurs, it can take additional preparations to make sure that everyone needs, everyone's needs are being seen. So be patient so that all who are involved 
can have the experience they're meant to have. Well, I mean, it could be telling us that, um, I feel like it's telling us just to allow other people's experience, you know, um, you know, not to interfere with that, but by, by holding the light and being that bright light for everyone, then, then, because they have to go through their own, their own, their own, they have to live their own journey, right? We can't fix things for everyone, but we can influence. We can hold that high energy and influence. I, I got to get one more card. Unlikely. Unlikely. I have no clue where these cards are going to. Maybe because I haven't really asked the, the right kind of question, like what are the energies bringing? Why is the same? Unlikely. We might have to go to another deck to get one to get clarification on the whole thing. But let's read unlikely because I'm really intrigued now. I don't know where this is going. So it says the situation I asked about is unlikely to occur as you might be imagining it. There may be different versions of events that will take place, or it may be that what you've asked about is simply not in your highest or greatest good. Place your focus on the alternative possibility. Open your eyes to different opportunities. Be willing to experience unique and more uplifting outcome than what you had planned for yourself. So, you know, maybe maybe it's just that, I mean, because really everything's spirit guided, right? So maybe there are a lot of people watching this right now who were asking their own question um, that came to the this video or this audio, because I'm going to put it on podcast as well, um, with the question. Maybe these answers are for those specific questions. But I have to pick an energy oracle because that's my that's my go to deck, All right? So I'm asking I'm just asking for a clarification on uh, this whole reading and even those three cards. It was what was it? It was uh, no weight and unlikely. Uh, you know what? I tell you what. Before I even pick this card, I I think what what because it just dropped in right now. It could just be. That we need to get out of our head from thinking how we need think how we think things have to be because you know our mind is limited, where spirit sees the big picture, and it could be that there's something you never even considered as your solution or as to what's coming next. Um, so uh, it, it could be actually just speaking to not trying to figure it out. Just allow it, just be in that space and allow, just trusting and allowing. I think that's the biggest lesson I've been learning this whole year, 2019, is just letting go and letting what's meant to be, be, without me trying to um, direct it, which is another reason why I am always harping on just bringing yourself back to that high vibe, because that's when you're in the energy of all that is meant to flow for you, and it will. So, okay. <laughs> One more card. You ready? Upside down community. Boy, this video is going to be like an hour by the time I, um, I don't know. Maybe we're going to finish with this card. Where is this? Number seven. Community. Oh, I'm in the wrong book. Of course. Here it is. Number seven. Community. Upside down. All right, let's see what it says. So it says, this card reversed indicates feelings of isolation, perhaps loneliness. There may have been a recent disconnection with an old association or even a dissolution of some wider partnership. This may result in feelings of loss and grief, but take heart. It is often the case that as you shift your energy into a higher vibration, you may find you no longer resonate with old acquaintances the way that you used to. Um, if that's the case, it may be time to move on to more resonant associations. Let yourself network in ways that reflect your higher intentions. Meditation groups, classes, book clubs, and the like are all places where you may meet new acquaintances that are in closer harmony to you. You needn't allow your isolation to continue. It may take some conscious effort on your part. But now is the time to reconnect, network, and gain the sense of support that you're looking for. All right. Huh. I 
think I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to have you sort of decipher for yourself what that means for you. Um, for me, I'm just kind of, for me, the biggest message that I take from it is, oh, and there goes my butterfly just past the window right now. I have this, Spirit's been talking to me with synchronicities a lot. So I have this tattoo of yellow swallowtail, which I got yesterday, today, and now I got yellow swallowtail but the female which is most is which is black with just the blue dots right there past my window so you know what then i just have to take that as spirit letting me know let the reading be what it is people will figure it out for themselves maybe maybe that's what spirit wants me to do to not have to try to figure it out because Everybody's got to come to, and, and oh, that's what it is. This is what it is. Everybody has to figure out what is right for them. Now, before I started this reading, I was thinking, and that's, a, that's the main reason why I like to read from the cards, because no one can tell you what is right for you but you, okay? You got to feel that with your gut, right? With your connection to your higher self, to the all that is. Only you really know. Now, there might be... Other people like me, when these YouTube videos, um, other gurus, other um, ways of thinking that will might want to dictate to you how things are or what things mean. But nobody can know better than you. That's it. So like for me, what I get out of it, and it's because I've been working on this whole thing of not having to figure it all out. Uh, not having to push things through, just letting things flow and unfold. So, uh, you know, if it were speaking directly to me, maybe whatever plan, which I just got, I just released all my plans. <laughs> released them yesterday or the day before. Um, maybe that was that no, right? Or that wait, just let it unfold, right? Or um, unlikely, unlikely to be what you think it could be. Because guess what? It could be so much better. Right? If we just get out of our way, everything is meant to be will be. Right? We're creative beings. We, we're, we are limitless if we knew our truth. But we've got all this stuff that's standing in the way from, keeping, from having us be our own truth. And a lot of people give their power away to what other people say. Right? So I will interpret things my way, but I read the deck because I want you to interpret it your way. So I think spirit purposely was giving me these cards so that I couldn't sum it up in a pretty package at the end, right? No, 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 Linda. You said you're going to read from the book and let people decipher it? Well, that's what you've got to do. Ooh. Ooh, I felt that hit really big right now. That's what I've got to do. I can put information out there, but it's just me talking, right? A lot of times, okay, I am, I am channeling spirit but I, I am also interpreting what I'm channeling right so you need to interpret whatever words I say or someone else says yourself but mainly these card decks or these readings I and mean, if you listen to people's tarot readings and all that some might feel spot on and some might not you know parts of it might resonate and parts of it might not and that's okay you take the pieces that work for you but you get to decide you and you alone what it means for you. So I'm, that's my takeaway from whatever I, I can't even remember what the other card said anymore. Um, I feel like I had that in my mind before I started. I made a point of saying I'm reading from the deck so you can figure it out for yourself. At the end, Spirit put us through this thing that we couldn't figure out. I couldn't figure it out in my own head because it's not for me to interpret, it's for you to interpret. So I'm taking that message and I will see you again on uh, another video, another podcast. And um, yeah, so take me up on my freebies I have below and I will see you again. Bye for now.